Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad 1963 problem number 2, which was proposed by East Germany. We wish to prove that cosine of pi over 7 minus cosine of 2 pi over 7 plus cosine of 3 pi over 7 equals 1 half. So it's a very standard problem, um, here are my hints. It's all about the following three trigonometric identities. First one, sine of 2 times alpha is 2 times cosine of alpha sine of alpha, which will be useful, but later. Sine of pi minus alpha is sine of alpha, that also will be useful later. Cosine of pi minus alpha equals minus cosine of alpha. And the following three identities, we will only use one of them. They are called Lagrange trigonometric identities, and they say that for any um, angles phi and omega, in fact for any complex numbers, but doesn't matter, we have the following identities. The first one will be important for us, uh, which says that sine of omega over 2 times this sum, cosine of phi plus k times omega, equals cosine of phi plus n over 2 omega times sine of n plus 1 over 2 omega. Uh, yes, we'll use that, this one. It's useful when we have argument, when we have sum of cosines whose arguments differ by the same amount, namely by omega. So try to reduce our problem to sum appearing in this identity and use this identity to simplify our problem. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Maybe I, I will use it later, so let's copy it. All right, so let's start with taking uh, cosine pi 2 pi over 7. Notice that cosine of 2 pi over 7 is the same as cosine of pi minus 5 pi over 7, which is uh, minus cosine of 5 pi over 7, which means that our sum, which we wish to evaluate, this sum can be written in the following way, cosine pi over 7, I will put then cosine of 3 pi over 7. And finally, instead of minus cosine of 2 pi over 7, I can put cosine of 5 pi over 7. And also, I will write it in this way. It's cosine of pi over 7. I need for parentheses. Plus cosine of pi over 7 plus 2 pi over 7, right? And finally, we have cosine of pi over 7 once again, but this time plus 2 times 2 pi over 7. All right, so now we have uh, our sum, and these arguments uh, form an arithmetic progression, which means that we can use once uh, we can use Lagrange identity. Let's go back. We are in this second case, where n equals two, pi equals pi over seven. Where sorry, well n equals two pi equals pi over 7, and omega equals 2 pi over 7. So using this identity right here, we see that sine of uh, omega over 2, so sine of pi over 7 times our sum, can be replaced by cosine of pi is pi over 7, 
n over 2, n is 2, so it's 1 over 1 times omega times sine of n plus 1 over 2, n is 2, so we have 2 plus 1 over 2 times omega, omega is 2 pi over 7. And let's expand the right hand side. On the right hand side, we have cosine of, uh, let's see, 3 pi over 7 times sine of, once again, 3 pi over 7. Which is a good thing because now we can do the following trick. I can now multiply by 2 and by 1 half. And now, here we have 2 times cosine of some angle times the si sine of the same angle. So it's 1 half sine of 2 times this angle. Yes, This entire part can be replaced, which is 1 half times sine of 6 pi over 7. But notice that 6 pi over 7, I can write it as pi minus pi over 7, and sine of pi minus pi over 7 is sine, just sine of pi over 7. And would you look at that? Here we also have sine of pi over 7. Of course, sine of pi over 7 is not 0, so we can divide by sine of pi over 7, dividing by sine pi over 7, and we get our result. We get our result that cosine of pi over 7 plus cosine of 3 pi over 7 plus cosine of 5 pi over 7 is indeed equal to 1 half, which closes the proof. It's exactly what we want. So yes, so if you are preparing for some type of competition, if you are, if you are, mm, uh, studying trigonometry, pay attention to these three identities. They are very useful in the in problems of a type when we have some of the same trigonometric functions. If the argument differ by the same amount, if the arguments of our functions form an arithmetic progression, then Lagrange identities can be very, very, very useful. And we will leave you, I will leave you at with that. So yes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.